Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates. The first one is from Behrus Tabani, with a very interesting caption here. Now, I did check with Miloš Archev, I asked him a question, he didn't reply yet, but I'm not saying that Behrus got a visa, all I'm saying is this, inter this caption is interesting. So he says... And this is a translation from Farsi, so I don't know if it is exactly perfectly accurate, but it says The good people will be known at the end of the story. The beginning of the story is that everyone is happy and colorful. People show their true colors at the last moments. This has, I guess, nothing to do with Olympia. But then he says three weeks before the Olympia, three weeks out of the Olympia with three exclamation points. So, I mean, he didn't say that he got a visa. And I'm not saying that he got a visa, but basically, he never really wrote these kind of captions. I don't think I ever saw a caption that he wrote that says uh, X number of weeks before the Olympia or out of the Olympia. This is the first time I'm seeing it. So does this mean that, um, you know, he knows something, he just didn't announce it yet? Or that he's just very optimistic that he's gonna go? Or that simply, you know, Olympia is in three weeks? And he is qualified, and he is preparing for it, but he just doesn't know if he's going to be able to travel. Regardless of the outcome, he is preparing for it, and he is looking phenomenal at this point, honestly. I could be mistaken, I'm not sure, maybe it's just a different lighting, but honestly, to me, it seems like his legs are looking better. I mean, they're looking wider, and I think I'm seeing more details at certain points, like in certain poses, when he truly flexes, like the, the inner part, the rectus femoris part of the, of the quadricep, look at it right here, at this moment. Especially that left leg, I think it's showing more details than ever. So I feel like this is probably a mind-to-muscle connection type of thing. And I remember having this kind of an issue with one of my clients, it was like four years ago, we were still working together, but this was like four years ago, he had also trouble flexing that rectus femoris on one leg. The other leg had perfect separation, one leg had no separation in the middle. And I was trying to explain to him how to do it, you know, like push the ground forward with your toes, stuff like that, you know, similar cues, and we were also trying to, 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 to emphasize that part of the leg, like doing a lot of leg extensions and so on. And like at first he was like, it's not gonna happen, I can't control that part of the leg, it's impossible, but then, you know, with time it got much better, and now he has no issue. There are perfect details on both legs. So I believe that is probably the thing with Becruz, and also he trained with Milos in Dubai. So they probably trained legs, and I'm sure Milos helped him with those things, because Milos is basically an expert with mind-to-muscle connection. So maybe, maybe his legs are not going to be perfect this year at the Mr. Olympia if he competes, but next year this thing can be, for sure it can be fixed. And if he brings his legs up a little bit more, not a lot, I mean, here, his legs honestly look very proportionate, they're actually looking very, very good. I mean, if he just adds those details, improves mind-to-muscle connection, gets really shredded in the legs as well, I mean, this guy is so freaking crazy, so complete, so aesthetic, so so blessed, I mean, with those, with those Persian genetics as well, like, with that thin skin, crazy hardness, I mean, this guy can be the next Mr. Olympia as well. I mean, as well as Hadi became the Mr. Olympia, so I can definitely see that if he gets to the Mr. Olympia this year, I can see him placing as high as 6th. I can definitely see this guy being a top 6 bodybuilder in the world right now. Whether he's gonna get to the Mr. Olympia, I don't know, I'm optimistic, I believe it's gonna happen. You know, Hadi got the visa like a couple of days before the Mr. Olympia that first year, 2021, so maybe the same thing will happen with Becker, especially this year, since he did so well, you know, won the Dubai Pro, won multiple pro shows, can be literally one of the top 6 best bodybuilders in the world. I mean, if he should ever get a visa, it should be this year. Let's hope for the best. You guys tell me where do you think he would place at the Mr. Olympia. And also, since I mentioned coaching, if you guys are looking for a coach, somebody who is very affordable and also very, very available for you, who's going to help you lose fat or gain muscle or both, or ideally get ready for the stage, which is the process I enjoy the most, you can just DM me on Instagram and we can talk about it. Whatever your goal is, as long as it's reasonable, I can make it happen. I promise you that. All right, next up, we got a new physique update from uh, Chris Bumstead. So he posted a full day of eating video, and that video was filmed at six weeks out. This is the thumbnail 
of the video he didn't really pose in the video and yeah this is recent because you can see his hair it looks the way it looked after hair transplant surgery so it doesn't look like it was from last year this is recent and uh, what can we conclude from this uh, physique update honestly not much not much it's a side chest pose but it's not from a angle where you're gonna see him on stage it's from a weird angle you can get the idea of what his uh, conditioning and his muscularity is at at this point if this is at six weeks out this is actually very good he doesn't need to lose a lot more and i think he said in the video that he's like 10 pounds away from reaching his weight cap and that was at six weeks out so right now at three weeks out he's probably almost there he's gonna just cruise into the show i guess you know just let his body rest and refresh but i don't know what he looks like right now even that video that we saw him doing a man's physique poses apparently that is also an older video because as somebody told me uh, his uh, training partner is in that video and he moved away a couple of weeks ago so i guess that video is also from like seven or six weeks out so his condition this year is like he's ahead with conditioning which is not usually the case usually chris is like you know he looks not ready at like two weeks out is it because he's holding a lot of water because of his uh, you know autoimmune system disease or something like that i don't know but usually he makes it like in the last moment this year it seems like he's ready early i don't think i ever saw him this conditioned at this stage of the prep which is always a great thing and you know the other thing is like he's probably retiring after this year so this is gonna be his last mr olympia he better make it good and i guess he's willing to do some things this year that he wasn't willing to do before of course he needs to be very careful because he doesn't want his you know that disease to flare up to cause water retention and so on so he needs to be you know mindful of that and can't really push things to the max also there's a weight cap so he can't use you know a bunch of supplements you know just to get as freak as possible he could do that if he was doing the open this way all he can do really is get maybe more condition than before which can allow him to be a little bit you know have a little bit more muscle because if he loses more fat and water he can be heavier and he can practice his uh, posing routine more maybe he's gonna give us like some crazy posing routine uh, for his last mr olympia it's gonna be nostalgic it's gonna be you know an end of an era some of us will cry some of us will not care that much but it's gonna be memorable for sure and once again conditioning muscularity everything is spot on and yeah he's winning the mr olympia i'm not gonna even discuss that really i don't see ramon or wesley really beating him but you know i would love to make it more exciting but I can't just, I just can't see that happening. Maybe if, if one of those guys posts something absolutely insane, but so far, I haven't seen that. I don't, I don't believe that's going to happen. I think Chris is winning his uh, last Mr. Olympia, and he's going to go away as a six-time Mr. Olympia, the greatest classic physique Mr. Olympia of all time so far. However, we do have a recent physique update from Wesley Vissers at three weeks out of Mr. Olympia, and his conditioning right here is better than that of Chris Bumstead at six weeks out. Which is reasonable, I believe Chris is at similar level of conditioning like Wesley is right here. Uh, he cannot be having this, this, this same level of details in the, in the delts. I don't think I ever saw anything like this. This is just absolutely crazy. Even Andreas Munzer, who had crazy details in the chest and shoulders, I don't think his delts were this, this, this cut, this, this, this detailed. Like, this is insane. I mean, those freaking striations are everywhere, and they're so deep, and they're so prominent. You can see every single one, where it starts, where it ends. It almost looks like it's not even real muscle. I mean, this is so crazy. And his plan is actually to be more conditioned for the Mr. Olympia than he was in the Arnold Classic, which would be absolutely insane if it is possible. But the way he looks right now, I believe it can happen. I believe it's a possibility. And also his plan is to push Chris this year further than anybody else pushed him ever before. And those are his words. That's what he said. And then also he said in the end, he believes he can win. But I don't think he really believes it. I mean... He did say first that he wants to push Chris, and he might do that, he might give us a really nice top 2 callout, or top 3, maybe it's gonna be a top 3 callout this year, maybe Wesley gets into the mix, you know, with Ramon, and with Chris, but in order to beat Chris, I don't know man, I don't think it's possible for anybody, really, like, Chris is what basically only common was in open, so I don't think anybody's gonna beat him, like, even, even later, like, in the next... 
I don't know, 20, 30 years, I don't know how likely it is to get a champion who is that dominant in Classic. Like, Chris is just built for it. But Wesley is like second or, or third best thing in the world that we got right now. Not as perfect as Chris, but also very, very impressive and has a lot of that wow factor that is very, very classic. Like, he has those super classic shape, super classic lines, and also can get in really good condition. And if he is this condition at three weeks out, and he actually continues pushing for more conditioning and doesn't lose the fullness and the size, I mean, what's that gonna look like? That's gonna be pff, something, like, he's gonna be known for conditioning, literally. So I don't, think, I don't know if that's gonna happen. I don't think he needs to get more, much more conditioned than this. If he just cruised into the show and basically showed up looking like this, this would still probably be top three in the world. But like maybe if he dehydrated himself slightly, slightly, not a lot, and like carved up a little bit more, that would be it if you ask me. But like he wants to be super crazy conditioned, so we'll see how far will he push things. But you know, it's gonna be interesting to see him compared to Chris at least. It's gonna be a fun comparison. Uh, do I believe Wesley is gonna beat Chris, you know, at his last Mr. Olympia? Not very likely to happen, it most likely won't, but who knows, maybe we're gonna have a surprise this year. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for this video, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, if you want a coach, DM me on Instagram, if you wanna support me, you can buy hostel supplements and use the code EVEN10 for 10% discount, once again guys, thank you so much for watching, see you soon, all the best, and bye bye.